Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a $196 Walmart grocery haul for you. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. It's time for you to leave your life. You can do it right now. Oh, you can do it right now. Okay guys, so I did go in store today, and that is because I am jumping on the Ibotta bandwagon. I heard Kira from Fifty Shades of Mom talk about it over and over and over again, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna commit to actually going through the app and finding what I can use and doing it. And let me tell you, I have $10 now in my Ibotta account for just shopping. Like, it is so cool and so easy. And I know Ibotta gets a lot of bash for um, only having offers on things that you don't really use. But I didn't feel like that was true because I went through and I just found things that I could use and incorporate into my meal plan. For example, the Butterball Turkey, if you buy a pound of that, you get a dollar back. So, oh, and the Dave's Killer Bread, you got a dollar or 75 cents back for that. So, we're going to have turkey clubs one night. So, I easily incorporated an Ibotta deal right into my meal plan. So, I love it and I'm definitely going to keep using it. The only issue is that... I bought, you can't use Ibotta when you do Walmart grocery pickup, which is horrible, and they need to change it, but um, in the future, I might do like the Walmart grocery pickup for everything else, and then just go in store for my Ibotta deals, because I don't know about you guys, but once I get in that store, I am just like, I'm like, my brain is like scrambled eggs. Like, I go walk around aimlessly and just buy stuff I don't need. I have a problem. I have a problem, and that's why I spent $196 instead of my budgeted $150. But you'll see, I'll show you, I did find some good clearance finds. Definitely run to your Walmart because they are clearancing out like little girls, underwear, socks, and um, clothes like crazy. Like I was able to get, score a bunch of stuff for my girls. So definitely check out your Walmart and a lot of the stuff is ringing up even cheaper than the clearance price. So definitely run there. So yeah, let me bring you over to the table and I'll share with you what I got for $196 and all the Ibotta deals and coupons that I used and my clearance fines. And after that, I'll share with you my weekly meal plan. So let's get on to the table. All right guys, so here's an overview of what I got. I did pretty well, I think. We were out of a lot of like the snacky stuff. So that kind of boosted my um, price a little bit. And I'm just sick and tired of never having anything in the house and the kids always complaining. So I did use, did use coupons on pretty much, yeah, every stack that I got had a coupon or an Ibotta deal. So awesome deal with that. And I got a few yellow stickers that weren't on my, um, my, or my list. So that kind of increased my spending a little bit. But overall I think I got a lot of good stuff so let's take you over here this is the stuff that wouldn't fit over the t on the table at the 40 count of water and I got a 10 pack of the roaring waters and I got the clear American unsweetened blackberry water I talk about this all the time absolute favorite uh, sparkling water so and it's definitely affordable so check your Walmart for that and as far as produce I did get two bags of the gala apples these fly through my house like you would not believe. We went through two bags in probably five days, so not even a full week last week, and we just love them, so definitely pick them up. And why are apples so much money when it's like apple season? Like, aren't they in season right now? I just, I don't understand. Whatever. Whatever. I picked up some grapes. We haven't had grapes in a while, and I think when I do the Walmart grocery pickup, I forget about grapes, but I saw them in store. I think they were like three eighty dollars something for the whole thing, which I think is pretty good. Because I feel like this is the same size you get at BJ's, and at BJ's they're like 8 bucks, So, that was a good deal. And we picked up some strawberries, got some tomatoes for our turkey clubs. This fresh craving salsa was an Ibotta rebate. So, I bought this last week because Nicole always hauls it. And here, there's an Ibotta rebate on it. So, I definitely scored the rebate this week. It was a dollar back. Got some, what are these? Oh my gosh. Some Bold House Farms baby carrots. Lord have mercy. I got um, some iceberg lettuce. Um, instead of shredding my, or buying the shredded, I just bought the head of lettuce. Cheaper that way I'll get more out of it and I'll just shred it myself. Then I got the organic half and half spring mix. That's our favorite salad. And some of the mini bell peppers. These are a staple in our house. We love to snack on them and throw them in salads. Then I got some of the fresh spinach, the market market side, right? Yeah, market side brand um, spinach for some soup. 
Then down here I got the 10 pound, 5 pound bag of potatoes and some onions I needed for recipes, some bananas for the baby. And this I've never seen before, it's a cherry almond gorgonzola salad. Has the green cabbage, romaine, kale, red cabbage, carrots, green onion, diced cherries, garlic croutons, and almonds with a creamy gorgonzola dressing. This looks so delicious. That's like right up my alley. I love like blue cheese or gorgonzola cheese with like uh, cherries and walnuts and stuff. So good. Love that. Oh. Then I got some of these cucumbers back there. I like the little mini ones. Here is my first clearance find. This is just the Southwest style chicken flatbread, white meat chicken, pico de gallo, barbecue, and chipotle ranch sauce on a thin crust. Like, hello, that looks so freaking good. And for football season, this will go right in the freezer and we'll be able to heat this up for like appetizers just for to munch on while we watch football. Can't beat these clearance deals on the pizzas. Then I got this Austin peanut butter uh, like variety pack of crackers. These were clearance down to $1.77. I think they were originally like $3. I don't know. This is the only thing I only snack I got that did not have a coupon, but I got it because it was on clearance. And Aubrey needs like a pre-packaged snack to bring to her classroom for her classroom snack. So it's not something I can put in her bento box. So that's why I got a packaged item like that I needed. Then the Mott's uh, fruit snacks have a 50 cents off one coupon, so I used two coupons and got two boxes. I like to use these in their treat container of their bento box. Then back here, the famous Amos cookies had a coupon. I got the chocolate chip and pecans because that's all they had, and I got two boxes of those. I feel like it was a dollar off two, so we don't usually buy these, but they are delicious and they'll be a good treat for the kids. Down here, another clearance find. This was like five bucks. This was totally like way more than I should have paid. But you guys, if you've never tried this variety, so this comes around fall time. It has the pumpkin spice, cranberry orange, and red velvet. You have not lived until you tried this. Like this cranberry orange cake. Look, I already ate two pieces. I'm going to open up and show you guys. This cranberry orange is the bomb. Like it is so freaking good and you know what I'm gonna like look up on Pinterest some recipes to make my own because I love this and it only comes around the fall time that's the only time I see this variety pack and I always pick it up when I find it and it was on clearance so amazing this here is the pumpkin spice and then there's also red velvet which is not my favorite but it is still good I usually give that one to the kids and <laughs> I eat these two I'll eat this whole thing by myself it's a it's just it's a problem it really is but it's so good and I got a big, what is this, eight cups, how much, two pounds of the finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese, because we need a lot of cheddar cheese this week. Then I also got the sharp white cheddar for a recipe. We needed some butter, and my Walmart was like wiped out, like they had nothing. I think this was the only thing of butter left on the shelf, craziness. Two packages of cream cheese. These are just for recipes. And then I got the garden vegetable, uh, great value cream cheese for uh, bagels in the morning. Then I got two different kinds of hummuses. I got the Sabra Supremely Spicy Hummus. This is absolutely our favorite, but it's pricey. Look at my nails, you guys. That's my DT uh, nail coming off, and there's a little bit left. <laughs> don't even look. Don't look. Don't look. Here, I'm going to hide it. So I got the Sabra Supremely Spicy Hummus. This one's our favorite, but it's pricey. So I get one of those, and then I get our second favorite, which is the Roasted Red Pepper Hummus in the market side. So market side doesn't have a spicy. All these has a spicy, but I wasn't going over that way. Then the Nature Valley uh, Granola Bars here, they have a coupon. I think it was $0.75 cents off two, so we love these. So I just grabbed two of those. Then back here, the Jolly Time Popped Corn. There was a coupon, paper manufacturer coupon for a dollar off two boxes. So the only kind they had was the Simply Pop. So I grabbed those two ba two boxes. And then there's an Ibotta rebate for, um, what is it, maybe 75 cents off any popcorn. So I, of course, used... Um, Got the Jolly Time so I could get two coupons off of that. So I got Ibotta and a manufacturer coupon and just living that high life right now. Living my best life with those deals. You know what I mean? Under here, under, I got so sidetracked with this bread. 
cake, whatever, that I forgot about the eggs. So I did get some eggs down there. Then I needed some ground beef uh, for two different recipes this week. So this was another I bought a rebate. Awesome, like amazing. So I got a dollar off of the Sarah Lee ham. Unfortunately, all my store had was the honey ham, and like I don't like honey ham. I don't know. My kids never had it, and that's for this is for them. So I'm hoping they'll just like eat it. So I'm gonna make them ham sandwiches for lunch. And this is I talked about in my intro. This is the um, Butterball Thanksgiving roast turkey, and I got a dollar off of this, and we'll use this for turkey club. The oven or the Thanksgiving turkey is so good. Then I got just this is pre sliced because the guy slicing the meat was like talking to Emma, and Emma was getting upset, so I didn't want to bother him for more cheese. So this was already pre sliced, and they only had um, this weight available. So it's just the sharp American cheese. But I'm gonna, I got little sliders over here for the kids to have their lunches, so they won't need a whole piece of cheese anyway. So that'll work out. Um, I got some bacon for a dinner. I got, oh, the clubs. Yeah, the clubs. Actually, two dinners I'm making this. Then I got um, some pepperoni because I got a bunch of crackers, so that'll go with that. Football season, you guys. And then I got the Kettle Cooked Original Chips. So I originally was going to use the Ibotta rebate for the Cape Cod Wavy Chips, but when I saw the size of the bag and the price, I just didn't feel like it was worth it. So I did get the great value of the chips because this is just going to go along with some sandwiches. And um, for my family size, I, I needed a bigger bag. Then I found I found the party size. Okay, remember I, I've been complaining about these for like weeks now about not finding the big uh, bags of tortilla chips. And I found it, but it's still not as big as it used to be. But this was like 262 I think, for this size bag of tortilla chips. Then back here I had a coupon, I think it was a dollar off two, of the townhouse, um, the Keebler townhouse variety of crackers. So I did get the flip side, which is just the pretzel on one side and the cracker on the other. These are amazing. And then I got some pita, parmesan cheese, and basil back there. Down here, this is an I bought a rebate, 75 cents back on any Dave's Killer Bread, any size as well. So I got the smaller size, and this is the white bread done right, and you can see there all the good stuff. This this bread is so good, you guys, and for a rebate, I definitely had to jump on it because I don't buy this all the time because it's so expensive. Then I got some bagels for me and my husband for breakfast. I got two of these big loaves. They're only a dollar, and I'll throw them in the freezer. And you know what, actually I'm going to cut it up first and then throw it in the freezer and then pull it out if we need bread with dinner or some garlic bread, things like that. Definitely a good thing to have in the freezer and it's cheap. Over here I got these King Hawaiian, I got the savory butter rolls, so they're not the sweet ones. And these are for the kids to have um, little ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch. I wanted little mini rolls because they won't eat a big one. thought that was perfect. I got some canned goods, I got the crushed tomatoes. I got some diced tomatoes with green peppers, celery, and onion. These were an Ibotta rebate, these Lindsay um, olives. So I got two cans of those that I am going to incorporate, one in my meal plan, and then one for snacking. So we love olives, so we'll definitely eat those up. Then I got the Great Value Electrolyte Blue Raspberry Drink Enhancer. My husband likes these, just to throw in his water, add some flavor, and they're pretty inexpensive for the Great Value brand. Over here, these are where I bought a rebate, and you seem like so interesting to me. I was so intrigued by this. They are hash brown chicken nuggets. So it's nugget shaped chicken breast patty fritters with rib meat. And it, I don't know, it's just hash brown flavored. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But it looks like on the chicken nugget that there's a little hash brown, like, like it's breaded in hash brown. So, I don't know, I'm going to let you guys know how, how these are. There's a dollar back for these. So, definitely wanted to try them. We can throw them together for a pizza, or pizza. We can throw them together for a football night. And under here, I got the Great Value O'Brien style hash browns. Over here, I got chicken broth, so I got two of the big ones, one of the little ones. Then I got some elbow noodles. We needed ranch dressing, so of course I got the giant one because we use ranch like it's going out of style. Got the organic 2% milk, and then I got the baby's unsweetened original almond milk. 
over here this was what was this a coupon I think it was a dollar off I don't know there was a coupon on this the super pretzels frozen pretzels and these are amazing again we can cut these up for football and just have them to snack on and then these I got the frosted mini wheat pumpkin spice variety and the family size so I saw these up front and there was coupons on them that say two dollars off two boxes so I was planning on getting cereal anyway I was planning on getting there was a coupon for 75 cents off two Cheerios but when I saw these and I got two dollars off two I definitely wanted to grab these instead and I like getting um, the frosted mini wheats because they are they are sugary like they do taste good they have icing on them but they're so full of fiber and they really fill you up I know they fill me up so they're gonna fill up my kiddos so they're not hungry like an hour after they eat so that's why I always pick up the mini wheats and they are fun flavors still and my kids really enjoy them all right guys so that is what I got for $196 and then after coupons I ended up paying $189 and then with my I bought a rebates it took off $5 for the things I bought then I got $5 because this is my first ever like transaction I don't know the lingo so I have $10 chilling in my I bought account just for shopping and then I got $7 off in manufacturer coupons so yeah I'm doing better like I'm learning this coupon thing and I'm really proud of myself so if you guys want to see what's on my meal plan and how I incorporated all this food, then just keep watching. Alright guys, it is like 11.30 at night. And I was in bed. I was editing my grocery haul and my meal plan to put up tomorrow. Which is when you guys will see, be seeing this on Thursday. And I realized I only meal planned up to Sunday. Like, I mean, I meal planned, like, I had it all in my head what I was going to do, but I only wrote on the board until Sunday, and I filmed it, and in my intro, I was even like, okay, guys, so this is my meal plan from Wednesday to Tuesday, and I still only wrote till Sunday, and I don't even know. I can't even tell you. So I'm tired. I just had to redo this whole board, and it's kind of dark in here, and this is all, like, super sloppy and ugly, but... Let's, let's just ignore that. So on Wednesday, today, we already ate this. We had turkey clubs and chips. Thursday, tomorrow, we're going to have my everything breakfast sandwich that I am going to film, I think, because every time I post it on Instagram, like, everybody goes wild, and they're all like, what is that? What is that? And it is super bomb. So good. So I'm going to film it and share it with you guys. Even if it's not on YouTube, maybe I'll just put it on uh, Instagram. So make sure you're following me. There, I will put my username right there. Um, on Friday, we're going to do cheeseburger soup. Now, that will be filmed and put on YouTube next Tuesday for Tasty Tuesday. Um, it will be a crock pot recipe. On Saturday, we're going to do those hash brown chicken nuggets. And I'm going to do some homemade fries. I got a bunch of potatoes in there I can use. On Sunday, we're going to do taco dip with some um, tortilla chips. I make some good taco dip, let me tell you. And maybe we'll do those pretzels or something, just like munchy foods, maybe some uh, veggies and dip for the football game. It's actually later in the day, so I'll be home from work and be able to watch it. I'm excited. On Monday, we're going to do a macaroni soup. That's just like a hot podge of things that I throw together. You guys will see it in my What's for Dinner next week. <laughs> and then on Tuesday, we'll do leftovers if there is any. If not, then I will have sandwiches or breakfast or something like that. And that is my meal plan again for Wednesday the 3rd to Tuesday the, I don't know, 9th? Yes, 9th of October already, you guys. Can you believe it? All right, guys, so that was my meal plan and my grocery haul for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to join Ibotta, there's a link down below. It's my own little link. So cool, right? And I have a Walmart grocery pickup link down below too so if you want to try the pickup you can get ten dollars off of your first order so definitely check that out and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys <sighs> guys i'm gonna need to take a break i've never had a grocery long grocery haul that was 12 minutes long like my back hurts